Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. As always, check the description of the video for the full playlist. I recommend watching the previous videos. We are working with Eureka Doom Editor, and today we're going to be looking at creating fresh maps, copying maps, and copying elements from maps. Uh, so let me real quick here, go over here, and so far we've created this wad with two maps. Uh, map 1, and also we went to map 15 in the last video to create a secret exit. Uh, so you come down here, and you can see that I can delete a map, I can create a fresh map, I can copy a map, I can save a map. Uh, so let's go ahead and just go open map to start off. And you can see the maps that we've created so far. Let me go back to map one, because that's the one that we have a lot going on. Uh, we teleport from here to here, and then we can teleport from there to here. And then uh, we also have uh, secrets where uh, when you open up a, a wall, then bad guys start ambushing you. So again, if I want to create a fresh map, start from scratch, I can go up to File, and I can go Fresh Map, and choose, see, you can see here, reds are maps that already exist in your project. The green ones are ones that don't exist yet. So I can hit Map 2, and it gives you, again, just like we started off before, this uh, fresh map that just has one room and four uh, co-op player starts, which is great. And then we can just start building. Um, let's go back to our map. 15. So let's go open map. It's going to ask me, uh, let's go ahead and save that real quick. We'll go open map 15. Let's say we have a whole level, and again, this is a room where we have three different exits. It's not uncommon for people uh, to want the first part of one level to be the same as the last room on the last level. So you're in a room, you flip a switch, and the next level, you're in that room, because that just makes sense. You just finish the level, you should be starting off in the same spot unless you teleport. So let's say I wanted to copy uh, this sector to a new map so I can start have, well, just, just to demonstrate a little bit more, we will create, you know, hallway here. This is, I'm just making something real ugly here. So let's say this is my map. Perfect. But I want this last room to be the first part of my next room. So I can go to sector mode. I can highlight all this and in reality let's just to make it more realistic we'll choose our players and put them over here so like that's the start of the level we go down this hallway come to here sector I'm going to select this what I can do is I can hit control C to copy that and if I say fresh map let's save this real quick uh, fresh map I can go map 3 and what I can do is right here I can go Control V, and I just copied and pasted from the previous map. Now, of course, I'd want to come in here and any of these that were used to end the level, I set those to zero so we don't end the level, and we'd want to put our player starts in there. But now I have this, and I can start playing this. If I hit F9, it's going to tell me there were some issues because uh, the, let's go ahead and show, because there was a sector here and now there's not, so can, can we see that in our preview here? Oh, let's move our, over to that. It doesn't really show up, but F9. Basically, this is kind of like an open sector because it thinks there should be a, another sector here and there's not. Let's go fix, fix, continue, continue. Hit F9 again to make sure that didn't cause any other problems. And now we should be good. We have our start room that looks like our end room of the last level, and then we can continue from there. Another option you have is, uh, let's say you create a level and you want... Uh, a lot of that level, or even all of that level, if you want to be cheap and just reuse a level. <laughs> um, I'm, I am guilty of that. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we save this, and then we'll go open map, and we'll go back to map one. And let's say we want to have this. We can just obviously just say copy map, and we'll put that as map four. So now my map four, uh, which is what we're on here, is an exact copy of map one. So this is map two, open, this is map one, and if we go to open map four, map four looks just like map one. I can now make some changes if I want. You know, it'd be bad if it was like that. Walls are overlapping, uh, overlapping. but of course we can do this and it will show me the lines. I go, oh yeah, that's obviously not good. Let's go ahead and fix that. F9, everything's good again, except for my animated texture. Fix that, continue, and we're good. So now map one and map four are slightly different. Uh, so yeah, that's that's copying elements from one map to another. One of the things I, I, I probably use most is again like 
let's say I liked this little floor. Let's go there and have a look at it. This little floor dip, let's say I put a lot of detail into that. I can, so let's make sure I don't have anything else. I can select those two. I can hit Control C. I can say, let's do a fresh map. Of course, yes, save this. And then uh, fresh map, map five. Let's go ahead and adjust map five out, giving me a little more room here. And then I can just come in here and in sector mode, I can hit Control V and I just paste that. Now, there might be a problem with that. If I hit F9, it's gonna tell me mismatch sectors show. And if I continue, just give me, let's go ahead and see if it will automatically fix that for me. Basically, this sector was originally another sector, so it's confused uh, about where it's supposed to be and you can see how that is. Uh, and again, if I go into sector mode and I just hover over these, I can hit spacebar on each one of these sectors and that, lots of times we'll fix it. Uh, I think it fixed the error, but then put the um, floors, it, it, it messed up what that sector was. Uh, so that kind of ruins my example there. You can copy and paste sectors into other sectors, um, but you might have issues where it's showing a sector not closed. Uh, so you might want to think, rethink that. Instead of copying an element from inside a sector, copy the whole sector and then go from there. So for example, now that I have this how I want, I can say uh, sector and make sure I have all this selected. Control C, Control S to save that. Fresh map, map six. And then I can paste that in here if I want, which it already has the player start position. So now I can choose this sector and completely delete it. And we should be good. We should have a good sector. But when you're taking sectors that are inside one sector and copying to another sector, you can do it, but it might cause problems. So again, like if I was to create a sector over here, I mean, that was, due, that was example was going from one map to another, but I can choose this, control C, control V and paste it in here. But you'll see, see how, uh, you can kind of see the mess up there. If I hit F9, it's going to show me that there's problems. Show, let me go out of this, that it's thinking this sector is supposed to be inside this sector and it's not. Again, I can go S uh, and I just space barred over the main sector here and I think that fixed it. Yep. So you can copy from one sector to another, but just be aware you're going to have to fix the sectors after that. Um, trying to think of what else I can say about copying and pasting sectors. Uh, we went over a fresh map, a copy of a map. A remaining map is something I've never done. Uh, so I guess, I'm gonna guess what this does right now. Let's go ahead and save this. Let me go uh, and open map four, which is the one that looks like map one. And I go, oh, you know what? I, I like this design, but for some reason, I don't want it to be map four. I want it to be, maybe I made it too hard. I'm like, oh, I want this further in the game. Let's make it map 14. I can go uh, rename and I guess you can't rename it a map that already exists. I'll just move it to map 14 there and I'll save that and now if we go open you can see map 4 no longer exists but map 14 does. So you can, that's renaming is a little weird. I, I would call that moving a map but um, yeah I've never used that before but one of the hard things about uh, designing I have found about designing Doom levels is making them hard without being too hard or too easy. And uh, one of the recent wads I made, you know, a full mega wad, uh, which is a wad that has 16 or more levels. I did a 32 one uh, a couple months ago, and I just actually yesterday com or two days ago completed another 32 meg or 32 level wad. Uh, is the first one I build a level, I test level, I make it just hard enough just to get through it and pass it and having different difficulty levels. But then when I went to play it from beginning to end, I found you know I had leftover weapons and ammunition for previous, previous levels and it started getting too easy at one point, in my opinion, because I had too many weapons from the previous levels, which when I was testing them, I was testing each level individually, starting off with just the pistol. Um, so it is very hard and sometimes you'll be like, oh, you know, it's going good, going good. And all of a sudden you have this really, really hard level and then the next two levels are really, really easy. And you're like, hmm, I, which is okay. But in theory, you want your game to progressively get harder. Um, so, so I can see using this rename map to move a map that might be too, you create and you're like, oh, I really like this map, but it's too difficult to be map whatever. I'm going to move it up to a more difficult map. Anyway, that is uh, copying and pasting elements and sectors uh, from one sector to another or from one map to another map 
or just creating a whole new fresh map or copying a full map to another map. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out the link in the description to the full playlist. And as always, visit filmsbychris.com. Chris the K, also link in the description. I hope that you have a great day.